Hey everyone, my name is Florian Kohler, also known as Venom, and today we're gonna go over another MESQ tutorial. We did a draw shot before, we're gonna do a follow shot this time. So, draw, pretty tricky. Follow, pretty tricky as well. It's, uh, I don't really have a name for that shot, but we're just gonna call that the circular follow. I'm not a big fan of those long setup shots because simply, you know, it's usually mostly easy shots. So we're gonna do a pretty hard one here. So we're gonna do nine ball right there. Okay, just the same way we're doing before. Uh, you could put a combo here or you could simply leave the nine ball. I think on that time, I'm just gonna leave the nine ball like that. It should be an easier shot than some of the extreme stroke shot we've had before. We're gonna do one ball on this diamond right here. So you're gonna count, you know, one, two, three, four here. So basically at the fourth diamond. I'm gonna tap it in so we make sure that cue ball, that one ball is frozen to the rail. And the last thing you gotta do here is I put basically a one ball space in between the one and the two. Straight line, so one eight two straight line towards the next diamond there. And you're gonna remove the eight ball. All right, so from there, that was pretty simple. Now you basically have a uh, cue ball in hand. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my cue ball right here. So I'm um, a little bit behind the diamond line. So, you know, second diamond line right here. So we're just gonna put it right behind it. And I'm not quite on the diamond line here, but depending the table, depending how your day goes, depending your stroke, you wanna go from half a diamond to probably a full diamond distance away. So I'm gonna go start in between, a three quarter right here. And uh, the shot's pretty much set up here. So how the shot works, we're gonna do cue ball into the one ball. So you're gonna kick the one ball out of the way. Cue ball is gonna go hit the one, bank up the one into the rail, curve around the two, straight back this way into the nine ball. So again, you know, it's another very useful uh, shot that you could use in the game. Uh, it doesn't come, you know, very often in that exact version, but you could have something very similar, you know, with less gap or something like that, or closer or even further. And that's a concept you can apply to your nine ball game. You can do that shot with any mess cue you have. A normal plane cue will work. This is my stroke cue, so the same we used before for the other stroke shot. So it's a little smaller shaft um, with, you know, a, a thinner diameter. So it's 11.5 diameter here. But really, if you have a normal standard pull cue, it'll work great. Uh, the only thing you gotta put on that cue ball is stop. So you'll look probably around 12, so 12 o'clock, but maybe a touch a left pin to help you. So maybe more like 11. I also like to use a, a little bit of a different bridge to shoot that shot. Uh, it's what I call my, uh, my carom bridge. So again, you know, I took a lot of stuff from billiard. Uh, my carom bridge is basically this one. So instead of being like this, which is more of a normal bridge, I kind of raised, you know, I kind of put all these fingers together and kind of raise my hand on the side. So what it does is going to help me to reach a higher spot of, uh, it's going to help me to reach a higher point of contact on the cue ball, really. So remember just, uh, higher bridge you could probably do it like that too I'm just for some reason more comfortable with something like that all right so let's go ahead and do that shot there you go and that's how you do that shot as you can see you know it's a pretty nice looking shot I got lucky, I made the one ball too, but you really don't have to go for it. You know, the main part is really try to go around that two into the nine ball there. So on that one, you know, if you can actually have a little bit of jump on impact from the one to the rail, it's gonna help you to go around the two. So it's, you know, I don't want you to force too much on a jump, but if it jumps slightly a bit away, it's gonna help you a lot. Um, I didn't talk about the aiming before, but on the aiming, usually I go about in between three quarter of a ball to half a ball into the one to go around. Because if you go too thin, you don't have enough power to go, you know, this way, you'll go too much on this side. And if you're too full, you'll go directly here. So, you know, again, I'm gonna put that ball just right back. So you can see, we're gonna use the five ball here. So if your cue ball, when you hit, goes this way, too much this way, that means you hit too thin. If your cue ball after impact goes this way, that means you hit too full. So really, you're gonna have to hit at the perfect spot, the perfect sweet spot 
around to go away, but not too far away. Uh, I would love to be able to be a little more exact on that shot, but it's very difficult because every table is slightly different and the more it slides or the less it slides, you're gonna have to change your aiming point by quite a big margin. So, you know, the best thing I can tell you is practice it. It's not that difficult since you know what to do. And again, you know, very useful shot and very beautiful shot. Thanks for watching. That was the circular follow shot. Remember, stay tuned for more MESQ tutorials.